Greetings, Star Wars fans. Happy Force Friday 2 to each and every one of you watching this video. Today, we're taking a look at the Star Wars The Last Jedi Force Link Starter Set. Uh, now, I picked this up today at my local Walmart, and I wish I had had this when I did the video review for the A-Wing, but they simply weren't available. And like many of you, I'm unwilling to pay the fees that so many scalpers on eBay demand for their products that they have <clears throat> somehow acquired uh, ahead of the rest of us. Nonetheless, we have the Force Link starter set in front of you, so let's get right to it. Of course, you see the uh, new artwork and, and logo design at the top of the packaging. Upper right-hand corner, you see Poe, Ray, and Finn, and that's there to promote The Last Jedi. And these three is the, I guess, the new heroes in the sequel trilogy. Uh, Star Wars emblem over on the left. Uh, the front of the box has some really nice artwork on the left-hand side uh, from The Last Jedi, particularly of Rey. Uh, the A-Wing and X-Wing, I really like that. Uh, in the window box, you can see it comes with an exclusive Kylo Ren action figure. The left-hand side details some of the uh, features of the Force Link set. On the back, of course, you have your obligatory product images. Um, and down at the bottom, of course, it details some of the uh, play sets and figures and things that it works with. Uh, this is going to be sort of like the uh, updated version of the... Uh, uh, what was it, the comm chip thing that they come out with during the Phantom Menace, uh, you know, where each of the figures had a little uh, voice chip that was activated with the uh, accessory. I, this is pretty much an updated version of that. So what we're going to do now is pause the video, remove everything from the packaging, come back and see what it's all about. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back with the Star Wars The Last Jedi Force Link starter set. Now, you can see the... Uh, device itself, I've already got it on, the instruction sheet, and of course the uh, exclusive Kylo Ren action figure that's included. Now let's take a look at the action figure to begin with. Uh, really decent looking figure, uh, nice head sculpt there, uh, same lightsaber that he uses in The Force Awakens. Also included is this heavy plastic uh, cloak that he can wear. Uh, however, he is not very stable with that cloak on. Uh, he stands a lot easier uh, without it and uh, I don't don't really care for it myself uh, I like using display bases with these figures but he's not not the most stable action figure uh, on his own so here's the instruction sheet and it's basically just two sides uh, the, this is the front uh, the inside details, it takes three AAA batteries, shows you how to uh, how to attach it and wear it, how to hold the action figure and move it around, that sort of thing. On the back, it's just kind of a troubleshooting guide. It has an audible warning when the battery's low, that sort of thing. So to activate the COM, uh, excuse me, the Force Link uh, device, you just kind of tap it, and it comes on. It's already on in standby. You can see the lights flashing. And of course, it has this adjustable Velcro wrist strap to wear, and this sits on the back of your hand. And uh, each of these new action figures has a blue symbol on the bottom of their left foot, uh, showing that they have the Force Link chip on the inside, which responds to this device. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I haven't been able to get Kylo Ren to work, and. Uh, I'm guessing they either didn't put the chip inside the figure, or there's something wrong with it, because it's not functioning. However, if I bring out the A-Wing, and each of the vehicles has the symbol on the bottom of them as well, and uh, you can hear some of the sound effects. Hear the engine flyby sounds. Reporting in, squadron leader. Protect the bombers. Now that's from the action figure on the inside. That's not from the ship. She also has the symbol on the bottom of her foot. Reporting in, 
squadron leader. Reporting in, squadron leader. You're supposed to be able to tap it and it'll cycle through the phrases. Reporting in, squadron leader. Reporting in, squadron leader. Reporting in, squadron leader. Reporting in, squadron leader. So evidently this one isn't functioning right. Not really sure why. But uh, it's supposed to go through all the phrases. And... Um, each each action figure says three phrases uh, from my understanding and I think the vehicles have two to three sound effects as well yeah there's the other one So you can see it's more of a gimmick for kids to play with than for collectors. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's really not worth uh, $25. It sells at Walmart for $24.97 and it's not worth that at all. Not even with the extra uh, Kylo Ren action figure included with it. Uh, it's just not worth it. I really purchased this just so I could do a video review of it. And I have to say I've been disappointed. Uh, no phrases for Kylo Ren and then... It's just not as easy to use as Hasbro makes it seem. Uh, I think this was more of a, a gimmick than anything. Uh, you know, if we put this voice chip on all the figures, you know, they'll buy this and that kind of thing. Marketing strategy, really. Uh, so for collectors, I, I would pass on this. I mean, unless you just absolutely want it for the uh, uh, voice clips and that sort of thing. Uh, I wouldn't buy it. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have the Star Wars The Last Jedi Force Link starter set with Kylo Ren action figure. Um, I guess this is available at Mass Retail. It's available at my local Walmart. And, uh, again, uh, it's not something that I would encourage anyone to buy unless you just absolutely want to waste the money on it. So, thank you guys for watching my video reviews. Uh, really appreciate all of the followers and subscribers out there, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Visit my Facebook page by the same name. I'm also a contributing columnist for Outer Rim News. Outer Rim News is the fastest growing Star Wars news website today with 40,000 subscribers and growing worldwide. Everything from commentaries to collectibles, comics, live action films, animated series, video games, role playing, much, much more Outer Rim News has it covered. So if you haven't checked out their uh, website, their Facebook page, please do so. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, check out the podcast. Ashley and the guys do a wonderful, wonderful job of bringing all the latest news in the Star Wars universe uh, to keep you up to date on what's going on. So again, thank you for watching my video reviews. Stay tuned. There's more to come. May the Force be with you.